This is uh, my uh, Palomino mirror. Ed's Platinum Blonde. Uh, I'm Ed. Ed's walking horses here. Uh, we breed, raise, and train Tennessee walking horses for uh, to be good riding horses, trail and pleasure riding, that kind of thing. Ranch horse kind of stuff. Uh, just an all-around good riding horse. That's what we're, we're doing here. So we're our slogan is we're a different kind of walking horse farm. And I think it lines up with what we're doing. What I'm doing with her right now is if you see, I'm, this is how I start off every ride with her just sitting here. And I don't ask anything of her. Uh, I have the reins down on her neck and there's a lot of, now the only thing I'll do is if she bops her head like there to grab some grass is I'll, is I'll bump her up. But I think she's doing right now is she's lowering her head because that's one of the things that we were trying to teach her that when we pick up the reins, she lowers her head. Uh, and we're trying to build up that, the length of time with that. And we're not just trying to get just a, like a lower, we're trying to get her to set herself into a good frame. It's kind of like you getting ready to, ready to lift weights, you know, get yourself in a good position. So that's what we want to do. We want the horse's back to be rounded out like this more. I'm exaggerating, but, and then their, their head to drop a little bit and get in that position as well. So what I'm gonna do here is, is one of the other things I'm doing, there's a couple of things I'm doing. Um, one of them is, uh, I had Eric Ryder yesterday and see if he could figure out anything with her and uh, um, some things I might need to work on. And uh, one of the things was when we lift up up on a rein and she'll give her head, but she, we think that she thinks it, it means move as well, okay? So I'm gonna try to separate that out from the other cues. So like he said, the, the rein should just control their front, from their withers up, right? And now we do know that it's supposed to translate into the feet, but I think what she's thinking is, when you lift up the range, she needs to move. And that's not it. That's not the thing. She should move off of my body and my legs. And right now I think she's thinking about, she's cueing off the reins. Okay, so that's one of the things I work on it with. And I'm also gonna work with her dropping her head some more. Uh, so here we go. I'm gonna pick up. I said she dropped there. Good girl. But she's dropping her head. Good. Good. We release. Now what I'm not doing is like when she just bobs like that. It's not a trick. You know, I want her to hold her head down on her own volition. Like I said, you want to get. It's like a basketball player getting in a good stance to go either direction, whatever you know. So I'm gonna try it again here. Lift up. There. All right, I'm gonna count here. I was about to the count of three, so I'm gonna lift up again here. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, release. And a lot of this kind of horse training is kind of, I don't find it boring, but some of it, it's like washing paint dry, you know? See, she wanted to, she was trying to sneak some grass. So here we go, let's do it again here. Three, four, five, six, release. Now, she could do it pretty good at a standstill, but I gotta get her doing it while she's moving too. But what I'm gonna try now is I'm just gonna flex her and I'll show you what she, like this is, I gotta separate this from her here. Help her to flex without moving. Good. That was good. Let's try it again. See, so this is a this is the first cue sliding down the the reins and then there. What I want to do is not take her all the way back all the way back and I don't want to hold her there. I want her to just follow it and then give me a little bit. So I'm gonna do it again here. <coughs> 
Pick up. See, she's dropping her head. That's good. I'm gonna bring it over. No. No. Okay, this is what she does. Yeah. Just got to get her to separate that. And I don't want her to move. This will help her because then we can use the reins separate from locomotion, right? So my body can be telling her one thing and then the reins could be slightly directing or having her drop her head or something like that. But right now the reins mean a group of things, you know, it means move, you know, and that's the strongest one and that's where they've got to change that with her. So here, let's try this again. Here. Good. Good. She likes this kind of work. <laughs> I do too, it's kind of fun. Yeah. So here we go, try it again. See, I like how she's dropping her head. There, good. And I, I'm going to this side. I want to get a few good ones without her moving, and I'll do the other side. See, she's actually, see, she's actually anticipating, and she was doing that right there. So that's what horses do a lot of. Okay. Good. And I wasn't holding her there. I just barely had the, the reins at all. So now I'm going to try this side here. Slide down here. And it's important that my body doesn't say move. Like my body was not saying move. So now she's moving, so I'm not, I'm not really increasing it, but I'm not letting it go either. A lot of, gotta let her sort it out. Let's see, she's gotta let her sort it out and make sure the other, there, there. The other rein on the other side was loose. Sometimes that's, that's what people will do. They'll, they be focused on the rein that they're pulling, and then they don't let go of that other rein, and they put in their horse in a bind. All right, so here, let's try it again. There we go. Right. Good, I like that. I'm really excited to see where she's, where she is in a couple of years' time. I mean, working with her. You know, I think she's going to be really something. And I'm excited too. I've got another horse that I, if you've followed the channel at all, you'll see I've different horses I'm working with. Uh, I work with my stallion way back when, who I call Wayne. He's the black one. And I'm also working with uh, a new gelding, a uh, new colt. Uh, Ed's hole in one. I call him Julio. Uh, and he's one I'm going to try to get to a higher level of training. Uh, take him and myself up, up the ranks there. Uh, I think he's going to be really good. And I'm also working with uh, another, well, we just gelded these guys, so uh, another two year old. Uh, his name's Ed's Great Goose. He's going to be really something. And we've got a whole bunch of other ones we're starting to. Uh, we're getting ready to start. We're getting. We brought him in, and we're starting to work with him. We had a, we had a, we had a gelding out there, and some of the fillies and the mares, uh, just running those guys around a lot, and they dropped a bunch of weight really quick. And so we brought them all back in, and we're fattening them up, and uh, going to start working with them. So I've got quite a, quite a handful there. I think I've got, oh, maybe maybe ten or eleven or something. We're going to be starting this year. So that'd be pretty cool. So if you like that kind of stuff, make sure you put a comment in the comment section below and and let us know. Uh, we like hearing from you. We like hearing from you. So here we go. Let's see if I can pick up this side here. Here we go. And I'm trying not to I'm trying to do it easy so I don't get her to make a mistake. You need to get some more rights in a row see like this right she just walked off so and so she thinks it it she still thinks it means go now if you
you can see how that I'm gonna pull more straight up here to stop her but you see how it's kind of see how my reins loose and dangling there there she gave it to me so I gave it back you just want to you just kind of want to bump them into position you know not hold not not a steady draw hopefully this will help her sort out a lot of stuff because I think a lot of a lot of what's going on with her, she just she's just getting confused, and and so we're trying to teach her some calming signals and stuff, you know, things that'll calm her down, like dropping her head and and stuff like that. Like when we do stuff, it those kind of things, believe it or not, like when you do the one rain stops and all that, it builds a um, it's like a it's like a calming thing for them. So it's like when things start going getting really scary for them. When you do that, it sets them into a calming position here now. See, she's she's throwing some other stuff at me. I'm not asking her for that. I'm just trying to get her to drop her head. 1,000, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Go. You see, I went back. Even though I was up to like six before, you want to go back if it's you're starting over again. You know, you want to. You don't want to do it till they fail. You want to do it till they succeed. So let's try it again. Pick it up. Thousand one. Nope. Nope. One thousand one. One thousand two. One thousand three. One thousand four. Drop. <clears throat> so this is the kind of thing that right here, um, like a lot of people who get gated horses, they just get totally focused on the gate. My horse won't gate, my horse won't gate, my horse won't gate. And they just focus on the gate and they try to correct the gate. But the whole time that they're, they're saying this, their horse doesn't have a good foundation. It's not calm when it's moving out. It doesn't have, it doesn't carry itself in self-carriage. It's just running through their hands, all these kind of things, okay? If you take care of all that, the gate just comes. You don't even have to worry about it. With the natural gate that they do, it'll just be there, okay? And it'll be smooth, and they'll be relaxed, and they'll be they'll be healthy doing it, right? So that's the kind of thing that a lot of people don't realize with gated horses. And the people in the whole gated horse tradition of training, they really just focus on the gate, focus on the gate, focus on the gate, and they do them up and down a long barn or in a big oval, and they don't have any foundation. They don't know how to ride off your seat and legs. They don't know how to be calm at different speeds they don't know a lot of stuff like that right and all that's important and so they get these horses high-headed and worried hollow backs and people are focusing on the gate when really they need to focus on the foundation now see she's misunderstanding here so I'm, i haven't let go of anything see she thinks she's she thinks i'm asking her to flex to the right and i'm not there you go, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, drop. And a release is the best thing to do is just, if you can, just drop it on their neck. Sometimes you might have to just hold onto it, you know, if they're gonna eat grass or something like that, or move off on you. But, and she, there's Rockies around here, he's feeding. So she's got some distractions going on and she's still hanging out here, which is good. So I'm gonna pick it up again. Try this. Nope, see, she's she, she's doing, she's, thinks I'm asking her to flex to the right, I'm not. I'm, I, just want, I don't wanna move her a whole lot because I don't wanna, I don't want her, like her to fail right at this point. Okay, she dropped her head, this is good. Four, five, six, seven, eight. It's good, she's getting that. Okay, let me flex her to the left here. Okay, so she's she, there. She thought about moving her front end, but she didn't. That was good. Let's try this side over here. Good. She's doing that really well. Let's try it over here again. There you go. Good. All right, let's see if we can walk off here. No, this way, over here. There we go. 
I'm gonna see if I can get her to drop her head walking off like this. No. No. She's got her head up, so I'm not letting loose, but I'm not increasing it. I just gotta watch for even the slightest drop here. Keep moving, keep moving. See, once you start moving, it kind of goes out the window. There you go, dropped. All right, let's pick it up again. Let's go. Oh, this way. There we go, good. All right, let's pick it up again. There, good. See how, I, see how when she dropped, I released there. Okay, pick it up again. Let's keep moving. Put a little bit of leg on her. There you go, good. Now keep going. See, she's stopping when I, I want her to keep going. Pick up on it. I got my legs on her, both legs on her a little bit. Not hard, just barely. There, shot it. Good. Okay, I'm gonna do it again here. Pick it up, got both legs on her. There, good. There you go. Keep going, keep going. Come on, keep going. Look at how her ears are. They're good. You see how she dropped there? That's good. She's high. She gave me a couple extra steps with it, too. That was good. All right. Legs on her. I'm lifting ever so slight. There you go. Good. And a lot of, you'll see people, yeah, good. You'll see people who will who want this position and they'll do tie downs and all that kind of crazy stuff. You know, use the horse's mind and teach them. You know, and there you go. Keep going, keep going. And when they understand it, then they'll start to feel. There you go, good. They'll start to feel how good it feels to move like that and carry a rider and how they feel healthier. And you just, there you go, good. See how she's giving that thing? And when you get them, when they do that, you've got their mind. Right, good. See, like I say, you're always trying to go for their mind, right? There you go. When their head's up and they're leaving the country, you don't have their mind. There you go, good. Keep going. Good. See, she gave me a couple extra steps there. That was good. Let's go here. Lift up on the reins a little bit. Got a little bit of leg on her. Good girl. See how she did that? That was good. And if you could feel how that feels when she's doing that, it's good. She feels like she's in control. And she's smooth. There you go. Good girl. And she'll like this a lot better, you know. Good girl, look at that. Good girl. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Keep going. There you go, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Exhale, make sure you breathe. <laughs> a lot of times when you're concentrating, you'll inadvertently stop breathing. And if you do that, horses will start to wonder what's going on. Why don't you stop breathing? It's something I should be worried about. I don't like how she was just throwing it down. I'm trying to, there you go, like that, good. She was kind of throwing it down, kind of like a little bit, a little bit of attitude. So I wanted her to do it just nice and relaxed in a smooth manner. Just let her walk around as it is here. And I'm gonna pick up. No, this way. No, this way. There you go. There. 
Put a little leg on her. There you go. Good. Put a little leg on her. There you go. There you go. Good. Eric was Eric was doing a lot of this yesterday in the round pen. And so she she's remembered a bunch of it. And he gave me some really good pointers on on what to look for and and it's like he says he was, he's always trying to release when there's calmness not just like a compliance with what you're asking when you first start yeah you take the smallest thing that goes in the right direction because you don't want them to get frustrated but you don't want them to you know ideally you want them to like if you want them to take off you want them to take off with some speed and power but you want them to be calm when they do it when they slow down you want them to slow down and be calm you know what i mean everything just in a relaxed way it's like when you're you're doing anything athletic you should be more relaxed than tense so try to get here look i like how she's doing that look how she's dropping her head good girl Good girl. Good girl. See, she's getting it. That'll really help her. Yeah. I'm gonna flex her again here to the right. See if she'll do it without moving her legs. Good girl. There you go. Good girl. Nope. Nope. Good girl. She moved a foot so I went back to it. Do one more. Nope. Yeah. Uh -huh. no. I'm just gonna do more straight up. Just bumping her here. Waiting for her to stop. There you go. Good. Yeah I think we're I think I'm figuring her out. She's good. She's a really a fun horse to work with. She's super smart. I find all horses to be really smart, uh, but she's real smart. She's athletic. She's very coordinated. Good girl. See, I like how she's still sniffing that. Yeah, good. Let me do this like this again. There you go. There you go. Good. Yeah, him, him working with her yesterday, and then she was able to sleep on it, you know, so to speak. And I think that really helped her. I think she's worked on a bunch of stuff. Now when she goes faster, I'm sure a lot of it will fly out the window. But this is good so far. So I'm going to keep working her. Thanks for watching. Should people subscribe? They should. <laughs> hey, smash that like button and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching.